Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Another useful feature of creating explicit calculated fields within the data model in Power Pivot is the ability to then extend these fields to create KPIs or key performance indicators within a data model. A KPI is a value and often associated symbol that is used to gauge the performance of a base field in attaining a set value. Therefore you must have three elements before creating a KPI within a data model. First you must have a base value. The base value is an explicit calculated field that is to be evaluated. Often this is a simple aggregate function over a field that is explicitly defined within the calculation area of the data model for the sole purpose of establishing a base value within a KPI. Secondly, you must have a target value. This can be either another explicit calculated field within the calculation area, or it can simply be an absolute value that you enter when you create the KPI. Third, you must define the status threshold within the KPI. This is simply the range between a low and high threshold that determines how well the base value performed in attaining the target value. This is often displayed as a graphic within a power pivot table that shows the performance. So for example, if you had a departmental budget table that shows information for actual expenses and budgeted expenses within its columns. You could create a KPI for the data based on those fields. So in this case, you would first define two explicit calculated fields in the calculation area of the table that were simple auto sum values over the two columns. In this case, sum of actual expenses would be the base value which would then be compared to the sum of budgeted expenses, which is the targeted value. You could then set the status threshold of the KPI to 100%, meaning that the goal is to spend 100% of the budgeted amount. Now to create a KPI, once you have created the necessary calculated field or fields, you would select the calculated field that is to be the base field value for the KPI within the calculation area. Then click the Create KPI button that appears within the Calculations button group on the Home tab within the ribbon of the Data Model window. In the Key Performance Indicator or KPI dialog box that appears, the selected field will appear at the top of the dialog box within the KPI Base Field Value field. Next, in the Define Target Value section, you can select the desired option button for your KPI target value. It can be a calculated field or an absolute value. If you select the calculated field choice, then select the name of the target value field that you created from the adjacent drop-down menu. If you choose absolute value, then enter the desired value into the adjacent field. Below that, in the Define Status Thresholds section, drag the percentage sliders into the desired locations. Then select a desired icon to represent these threshold values from the listing shown in the Select Icon Style section. When you're ready to create your KPI, click the OK button to finish. The KPI indicator will appear as another type of field that you can insert into the quadrants within the associated pivot table. You can insert the value, the goal, or the status of the KPI into the values quadrant within the Pivot Table Fields task pane. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.